Alright guys, alright guys, it's Marty, and today, on the daily vlog, you know, the daily vlog, anyway guys, we stopped in traffic, you know, way too much traffic guys, you know, I wanted to go back to like the, the start of the Rona times, you know, when there was like no traffic and everything, tons of RVs around here and everything, you know, it's just busy, it's just busy, you know, I've been stuck here in traffic for like two minutes already, and there's like, there's no traffic around here, but you know, I thought I'd go on to you, right now, we're heading on over to get rid of the cans and everything, because you know in Oregon, it costs 10 cents per can to get like a soda or a pop or whatever, but then you get it back when you return them and everything, you know. But uh, so far today has been a good day. Has been a good day, you know. I tried making uh, uh, these cookies uh, for the you know cooking with Marty segment out this Sunday at 11 a.m. You know, check it out, check it. Out. I ain't gonna tell you how it went, but you need to check it out. You need to check it out this Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anyway, guys, so that's what we're doing right now. Is so we're trying to get rid of these cans, and then uh, uh, we might go to grocery outlet because then we'll have some uh, some extra extra coin, you know. See uh, if they got anything good at grocery outlet, you know, bargain market. You know, I'm trying to get away from those energy drinks, and uh, probably caffeine in general because you know it's not all that good for you, and, uh, and everything. So anyway, guys, I'll come back to all of you when uh, we get a grocery outlet or when we get out of the, the Oregon ball drop and we see how much money we got, and then. Uh, more things to come, more things to come, you know. We'll probably get a walk-in later on today, though, but it's just been really windy and cold, you know. I hear, so, uh, the rest of the country, it's all like heat wave, heat wave, heat wave. You know how, what, you know what the temperature is right here in Newport, Oregon? All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It's 56 degrees, 56 degrees with the wind, with the wind, you know. The, the fuel-like temperature, it's 56 degrees. Because it's like 20, so I guess the actual temperature is like 64. But there's 20 mile an hour winds, so it says it feels like 54 and everything. Anyway, guys, come back to all of you when we get out of the ball drop. So see you soon. Alright, y'all, alright, y'all. So I just got out of the Oregon ball drop, and guys, I got a lot of money this time, you know, because I had a lot of cans. You see how much I got? I got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, and uh, uh, 20 cents, 20 cents. So, that's good, that's good. Made $17.20, but really, I didn't make anything. I'm just getting my money back, because you guys know, in Oregon, uh, I, I believe there's like uh, a couple other states, you have to pay 10 cents to get the can. You know, like if, you, if you're buying a Pepsi water, it's like whatever the Pepsi is plus 10 cents. And then if you return the can, you get 10 cents back. So, not a lot of whole people return the cans, but you know, if you don't return the cans, you just lose money, you guys. So. Return your cans. Return your cans. And it's better for the environment, you know. Recycling and yak yak. But anyway, guys, anyways, so guess what I heard on the news? Guess what I heard on the news? So, guys, you guys know Victoria's Secret? You know Victoria's Secret? Well, anyway, guys, so Victoria's Secret is getting rid of the angels. Getting rid of the angels, you know. And uh, they're being all, like, super woke and PC and everything, which, which I don't really understand. So, Victoria's Secret is a lingerie brand. All right. So, if you're selling lingerie, you obviously want some good-looking girls modeling your lingerie. I would think, I would think. Because they're trying to sell, like, a fantasy, aren't they? Because I believe Victoria's Secret's trying to sell a fantasy. So, you want good-looking girls selling your stuff. So, then uh, other girls can get it, and they're like, Oh, if I get that, then I can look as good as the model, you know? Isn't that what they're trying to think? Because, uh, you know, and then they're all like, oh, we, we're trying to be all, like, inclusive, inclusive and everything, you know, like, like multiple sizes, multiple sizes. And I'm like, hey, that's all well and good and everything, but if you're going to get rid of Victoria's Secret because they're all, like, super attractive girls and everything, and they're, like, they're, like, like upper echelon, and, you know, some of these girls strive their whole entire lives to become a, a Victoria's Secret supermodel. I mean, they be in the gym, you know, getting that gym, that gym uh, fit going and everything, you know, eating right and everything. And then, you all you tell them, like, well, you can't ever be a Victoria's Secret model anymore because they don't know Zig. It doesn't exist anymore because, you know, uh, good-looking people, you know, can't, can't, have, can't have these jobs anymore. So then I'm, like, thinking, I'm thinking to myself, so what's the Olympics, guys? So the Olympics is, is like, all the people, like, the upper echelon of all the people, you know, the people that strive their whole entire lives to be, like, for instance, a runner. You know, you in the gym. Or whatever you you running miles, you know you like you like Forrest Gump, you like run Forrest Run and everything, and then all of a sudden, you know they're like, oh, you can't ever be in the Olympics anymore because we don't want uh, 
uh, you know, like super fit people and people that take care of themselves and whatnot. We want other people in the Olympics. So imagine, for instance, imagine if the Olympics didn't exist anymore or if the Olympics had like super fat people in them and everything and it just wouldn't be entertaining. So that's why, yeah, that's what I think. So Victoria's Secret, they're probably going to be losing some business because, you know, it's not entertaining, you know, because if you, so for instance, so like say, I'll give you another analogy. I'll give you another analogy. So you got, you got LeBron James, you know, playing the Olympics, you know, you know, uh, blah, 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 and everything. But then you got like, uh, like let's, let's say like uh, Gilbert Iglesias, you know, Not, nothing wrong with Gilbert Iglesias, you know, great, great comedian, great comedian, Fluffy, you know, I'm just thinking of his name, it just popped up, you know. So he's a great comedian, though, know, Gilbert Iglesias. But imagine Gilbert Iglesias was now playing on the USA uh, uh, All-Star Olympic NBA team. Wouldn't it be a good, wouldn't it be a good show? Because obviously Gilbert Iglesias can't hold a candle to LeBron James, which himself, you know, and on a great of a basketball player, you know, in my opinion, in my opinion, you know, he'll never be as good as MJ. He'll never be good as MJ, you know, and he keeps on, uh, like, trying to be like MJ, and it's just not working out, it's just not working out, you know. Like that new Space Jam movie coming out, you know, not so much. But then if LeBron James tries to be like a comedian, it probably wouldn't work out at all, you know. I got no idea if LeBron James is a good comedian, you know. Never heard his stuff, never heard his stuff, you know. I don't even know if he's trying to be a comedian, but anyway, guys, so that's what I think about it, you know. Victoria's Secret, they should keep keep their fantasy alive because that's what people want, you know. They want good looking people around, you know. You don't ever wanna wanna be driving down the road and see a billboard uh so for instance like like uh, like Hooters. So I'll give you another Hooters. So you wanna go into Hooters and see a bunch of uggos in there, you know, you know. Just like my opinion. It may not be popular or nothing, but if you go into Hooters, there's a certain type of people you want to see in Hooters, you know. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. There's a certain type of people you want to see in Hooters. And if it's full of, like, unattractive people, you wouldn't want to go to Hooters anymore, would you? You know? Anyway, guys. Uh, so that's just really interesting and whatnot. So anyway, uh, we're going to go to Grocery Outlet now because we got some money. And uh, we're going to see what they got over there. And, uh, yeah, so I'll come back to all you and get a Grocery Outlet. And then we'll stop by the post office because, you know, I'm out and about. I might as well stop by the post office because you guys know I got a P.O. Box. And if you want to send me something... It's uh, P.O. Box 1221, Newport, Oregon, 97365. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a little bit, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, y'all, right, so we back, we back. Anyway, I just got a grocery outlet, you know, bargain market and everything. So, guys, I had 17 bucks from those cans, and I spent 14 bucks of it. So, you see what I got? So, I'll show you. The, I got these uh, Planet's Cheese Balls, 99 cents. I got some fancy, uh, I guess, healthy Pop-Tarts for two bucks. You see that? You know, future reviews on this stuff, you know, because we got to be making money and spending money, you know. Let's see, we got, so these are uh, two, uh, three, four dollars. So I got, I got an Oreo one. I got a, a Galaxy Cake one. I got a candy coated chocolate one. You know, I got two more of these A Shock Adrenaline Cotton Candy drinks, you know. Once in a while, once in a while, you know, in moderation, in moderation, as they say. Uh, I got this Izzy water, because it was uh, 50 cents. You know, oh, this is really good, guys. So this right here is $2. It's Pendleton Whiskey uh, Custard by Tillamook, you know. This stuff's really good, guys. I mean, like, for sure, for sure. Like, ho, another level for good, 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 you know. That good, good right there and everything. Got two of them. Oh, I got some of these Mexican drinks, you know, orange. And, uh... Fruit punch. And then, uh. Oh, I got, I got, uh, two of these drinks. They're two for a dollar. Anyway, guys, so that's all we got. That's all we got. Now I'll go to the post office and see if we got anything in the mail. And then we'll, like, go on a walk on the beach later on. Anyway, so I'll see all you when we get out of the post office. So see you soon. See you soon. Well, guys, well, guys. Nope, didn't get anything today. But oh well. You know what the best thing I got from uh, one of my subscribers was, though? It was this shirt. You see this shirt right here? It's from uh, Red Rocks Bicycle Company. You see that? Red Rocks Bicycle Company out of Utah. You know, great shirt, great shirt, you know. You see that? Red Rocks Bicycle Company. You know, that has to be like the best shirt or the best thing I got from uh, my, one of my subscribers because, you know, I wear it all the time and everything. Some other things that were good, uh, like food items. Oh, also, there's his family in England that sent me some stuff. That stuff's really good, you know, but it was, it was his food items, so it, it, was, it was here and gone, you know. But this shirt, though, keep wearing it every time. Also, that company, Nutsack out of Corvallis, man, was that a great gift, you know. 
you know, I can't uh, uh, imagine that a company like that would send me a, a package, you know. And they did, you know, they sent me a nice messenger bag. If you guys haven't seen the review about that, that net sack, you know, the company is called Nutsack, but they make bags, so they make bags, so it's kind of a play on words, but they make like high quality bags, I mean like extremely high quality bags, made in America, you know, they made ran in Corvallis, Oregon, you know, extremely high quality, that's why I was so surprised that they wanted to send me one, and everything, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take one, and everything, but they make a good leather one, I'd really like to get that leather one that they make, that one looks really nice, you know, but, you know, maybe, maybe we have, one day they'll send me one, you know, if I reach out to them, or Maybe if they're seeing this, you know, hey, Nutsack, have you seen this? Send me that leather bag, because, man, that leather bag looks really nice. Or that backpack that you make, man, man, great stuff, great stuff. Anyway, guys, so I'll come back to all of you when we're walking on the beach, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, do some more things. But, you know, who knows what else we're doing. You know, I kind of want to go to Rogue today, you know. But uh, they're always busy, guys. They're always busy, because they're not up to full capacity or nothing yet. Cause, so, guys, I never thought I'd see the day when the state of Oregon is less liberal than the state of California. Because right now in California, I think they're 100% open. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I think they're 100% open because they don't have to wear masks or nothing. Here still in Oregon, you know, they still gotta wear masks and everything, you know. Because, you know, that freaking governor, Kate Brown, you know, someone needs to get rid of that Kate Brown governor. Anyway, guys, so I'll see y'all in a little bit, and, you know, who knows what we're doing. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Hi guys, hi guys, I'm back and as you can see, it's windy, it's windy. I mean, look how windy it is. You know, I got a little microphone on you right now. Here, look, I'll take away the microphone so you guys can hear it. Anyway guys, I just wanted to come back to you and show you some ocean views because, you know, I didn't get a walk in this morning and I wanted to show you all the views. So, you know, enjoy the view, enjoy the view. guys that's all for today's daily vlog you know just make sure you like comment subscribe you know take care of yourselves be kind of one you know keep spreading some good vibes only and uh tell tomorrow guys party out Perfect.